In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a depth of field effect in PowerPoint. Now, in film or photography, what the depth of field of is, is it's a range of distance where a image appears really sharp. And so, let me kind of show you an example. Let's say we have an image of this guy serving coffee and an image of this office. And we want to have the guy showing serving coffee as the sharper image. And the depth of field where this office is is kind of blurred out. So it kind of look like this. Or we have something like this where we'd have uh, somebody in the lab coat uh, checking a beaker for something. And here's a lab here. And we would have the image of the lab blurred out. But the person checking the speaker is a little bit more sharp in focus. In standard photography or, or film, you can utilize your equipment to give this depth of field. But in PowerPoint, we can sort of mimic this. And I, I would call this a poor man's depth of field type of uh, technique. So let's go ahead and see how we can do this. Let me go ahead and get out of the PowerPoint slideshow view. So now we're in slide sort of view. I'll show you how we can do this. I'm going to take the first example. We had our two images. We had the image of the guy serving coffee and this image of the background of the office. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy that image. So basically, you can take this image here, make sure it's kind of a sharp image already. I'm going to just go ahead and press Control C to copy. I'm going to bring it down here, Control V to paste. And I'm going to make this image kind of span the width of, or the, um, <clears throat> the width and height of this particular slide. So I'm going to kind of move it into place. That's all set. I'll go ahead and bring this guy serving coffee. You got to make sure that the image around him, if, if, if you click around there, we can see that the the borders around him, it looks like it's a, it's a rectangle, but we have to realize that this white space here, it's transparent. So what I mean is whatever is behind this layer is going to bleed through or show through. Let me go ahead and show you what that means. Control C to copy this image. Let me go down here and then Control V. So now you see that white has disappeared because this is a transparent image. That that white space is there is really not there in a way because it was the white of the background of the slide. So that kind of passed through. So now I can move this guy kind of lower, maybe down here. And I'm just going to make him down here. Like a, so it looks a little bit correct because part of his shoulder got cut off. So here we have this guy serving coffee. And, and we're going to go ahead and blur this out so it can give us that depth of field effect. So what you need to do is we just need to blur it out. Now I don't want to select this image. I want to select the image here and go under Format and go under the Artistic Effects. And there is a blur feature here. So if I click on that, you'll notice that it kind of automatically blur blurred it out. But if you didn't like the way that this got blurred out, maybe you wanted to kind of make it a little bit more clear, you can kind of fine tune it. So I can go under the artistic effects, go under the options here, and under the artistic effect, which I've selected as blur, I'll go ahead and just reset the radius here. Or I can just set the radius here. Maybe I don't want it too blurred. Maybe a 5, maybe let's see, 2 is too clear. You don't really get that depth of field effect. Maybe a five would be better or maybe a six. So we kind of had that six there and we'll go ahead and bring it back into the slideshow view. So now it's in slideshow view so you now see that we've got our guy here who's a little bit more clear and the background is a little bit blurred out giving this pseudo death of field effect. So if you didn't have the capability to do this in your film or or, or your capture in your digital photography, you can actually just superimpose one image on top of the other to give this impression of a depth of field effect. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.